My question is, how should a couple proceed if they want to renew their marriage contract because they fear that their marriage is invalid due to their best sins? Do, do they have to wait months because of the woman's menstruation? Does the Vali need to give his consent again? Do they have to get engaged again? The couple had, had not had sexual intercourse for three months. Can that count as waiting? And, they, and are they allowed to communicate before they renew the marriage contract? First of all, such issues must be addressed privately because each and every scenario differs from one person to the other, from one couple to the other. And through my experience, hundreds of people with OCD think that their marriage is invalid. They go an extra mile to renew it. They have problems. They face problems with the guardian. They have problems between themselves because of it. And when they come and sit with me, we discover that there's no need for renewal of the marriage at all. And they insist on keeping, no, but our marriage is invalid. Who's making it invalid? You can't come and shoot from the hip and invalidate people's marriages like this. And some people go the extra mile of insisting that they're not married. So, okay, you're not married. And they start to weep and cry. Say, how is it that we're not married? We have children. They're born out of wedlock. They are uh, sons of zina. They're bastards, this, this and that. Okay, guys, you're married, but... I said, okay, but... No, we're not married. So, hey, come on. I'm going to bring a pistol to my head. Are you married or not married? So they keep on confusing themselves, making life difficult for themselves and for others. Therefore, they have to get this behind him. Because even if they get the fatwa, they are fine for a month or two until they put their guard down. Shaitan is leaving them alone. After two months, he attacks viciously again. And then the cycle goes back again. And they call on scholars here and there until they f meet a scholar that would say, no, you cannot get married again. Your marriage is totally destroyed. And you, as a wife, cannot go back to him until you marry someone else, another man. What more devastating would an answer be? You deserve it. You keep on knocking on different doors until you open a can of worms and then you meet your destiny. So such questions must be done privately and with both husband and wife so that we can understand the circumstances and get a solution for that once and for all.